Welcome to Motivated Living. Change is on the horizon. What's up, wonderful world of YouTube? My name's Chris. This is Motivated Living. You guys are going to ride with me real quick. Ride and talk. Uh, share some things going on real quick. Ask you guys for your help. Guys, gals, people. Fellow humans. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Smiling, happy, healthy. Uh, driving home, had to go mail something off to my friend Howie. How you doing, Howie? I hope you enjoy what you get when it gets there. Yesterday, my wife had a specialist appointment, which has some some rough news. And then she got an update through the our little my chart where the medical stuff contacts you and. Family practitioner, well, not practitioner, her family doctor needs her to come in ASAP. So, y'all are who, who are new, don't really know what's going on. You guys who have been here, I'm sure you've seen in the past videos. Uh, she has this rare, I want to call it a disease disorder complication, and it's so rare, doctors don't really know what to do about it, but her body is attacking her bones, reading them like. They don't belong there. So, and it started low, it's working its way up, where it's eating her bones from the inside. And uh, cause her a lot of pain. She already had to have one knee replaced. And now mind you, she's early 30s. And, well mid 30s, but I'm not supposed to tell, I don't think. <laughs> Last year had the first knee replaced and it's already ate to the other one. So she will be going in for a second knee replacement coming up. And it's worked into her hip a little ways. Uh, her back needs some work, but they're scared to touch it because of what's going on. So the doctors, the surgeons are afraid to touch that. She has COPD. There's some other things going on. COPD is a breathing issue. Uh, so I have to watch like what I wear around her fragrance-wise. So there's certain fragrances I love, but I have to part with because I don't want to risk setting her into a coffin fit or where she needs to go run to do a breathing treatment just because of what I'm wearing. Sorry about the bounce, and I've yet to figure out how to stabilize my phone. And if I put it up here on the vent on a different mount, I have a feeling it would be up too high. You really won't be able to see me. Now, she got something from the doctor, and she needs to come in ASAP, so she'll be going in, in the morning. And they want to discuss something going on in her lungs and something to do with kidney and she's been having some kidney issues for a while um, to where she's almost worried that she'll end up having to go on the list for a transplant so with all that said just filling you in um, and she's keeping her head high her spirits up very strong woman a source of strength and inspiration um, because that would have broken a lot of us a lot sooner Um, that's why I'm coming to y'all for your help. So, I don't really bring preaching or spiritual stuff here to the channel. You know, I, I, I've shared my beliefs that I'm, I'm spiritual, not religious. Uh, and have a close connection and a, high, a belief in a higher power. And I feel a connection with the universe as a collective whole. So, I'm just a asking anybody who also has that or any type of beliefs... I guess, I don't really know how to phrase that, but if uh, you're the praying type, I ask y'all to uh, lift her up in prayer, and if you're the type that believes in the power of the universe, I pray you'll send some positive vibes her way, and bind all this harm going on to her body, so she can heal and survive. It's a tough time, it really is, it has been a tough time, it's been weighing on all of us. You know, and I, typically I share positivity on the channel. And because I want to help someone or someone's with things that have helped me. But even for Mr. Positive here, <laughs> it, it's taxing. It's hard. But, with that said, if there's a will, there's a way. There's still hope while we still breathe. So the key, I guess the moral to that story is don't give up. And that's a moral to my own story, too. Don't give up. We've got to stand strong, keep moving forward. 
play the hands we're given the best we can do right to one another uh, and that's really it I appreciate y'all watching and listening and anybody who does help on that end I appreciate that as well and I pray positivity and blessings and whatever you need will come your way as well so with that said the weekend is coming soon and if there's a will there's a way I have some cool ideas to go back to the green screen in the garage my studio and bring a pretty cool fragrance video your way I won't spoil it but uh, I've been itching to do one of them too instead of just driving and the phone bouncing talking to y'all so this is short and sweet I thank you guys I really do guys gals when I say guys I mean as a collective whole because I know it's not just males here you know I'm the type to call females bro if that tells you anything <laughs> they uh I, I don't really see gender typically I'm taken so I don't look at everything else like that I mean I don't if that makes sense sorry I'm, I'm scatterbrained. Man, if it tells you anything, I'm so scatterbrained. I laid some, some hamburger meat out to make dinner. This is why I'm running the... I ran out to the to do some fast food. I put it... Took it out the sink after I laid it out. I put it in a plastic bag. I was going to put it back in the fridge. Well, it came time to start preparing dinner and I couldn't find it. Well, my scatterbrain behind... Put it back under the sink with the other empty bags. So there it is <laughs> thank you guys y'all have a great day be blessed smile be happy seize the day i hope to see y'all back thank y'all peace